Previously on Drake Paragon. And in the process of testing, all of a sudden it would start working again. And we'd be like, oh, well, I don't know. She just blocked our wind as we went behind her. Here we've got boaters trash. Visitor information center. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Gets put in the water and dragged. Hoping to be adopted someday. Wow, look at that double recourse. The wheels on that thing is taller than me. We got a bit of a row ahead of us. I'm never going to get an outboard. This is too much fun. Let's go straight down so it can fit into the thing on the bottom. Alright! You just put the mast on! Yeah! <laughs> What's that? It's the boom. What's that? Uh, center board. Right. And that? A rudder. And what's the thing in your left hand there? Uh, oh, you mean the pillar? Yes. Now you're ready for the sale. You want to have it so when you're raising it, the sail is always luffing and making a lot of noise like it is right now. That means it's not catching wind, so you're not moving, you're not under sail. Now you want to tighten in on the outhaul. Uh, yeah, raise the boom up a bit so you can tighten it more right there. Cleat it. Good. Get yourself situated and we'll take off on a starboard tack, yeah? Are you ready to pick off? I hope so. So we're going to take off on a starboard tack and... Uh, What's the most important thing? Don't flip. Yeah, and how do you not do that? Keep it in the center, let it out. Uh, Keep the tiller in the center, let the no. sail out and turn into the wind. Yeah, so you're, if you're turning into okay, the wind... Okay, there's fog coming. Yeah, if you're turning it into the wind, you're not keeping it in the center, yeah? No, keep the tiller in the center. Uh, that's after you jive. After you jive, you keep it in the center. Okay. But if you're about to, uh, if the boat starts healing too much, you don't want to keep the tiller in the center. You want to turn into the wind you and then turn... keep it in the center. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so ready? Yes. Pushing off and we're on a starboard tack. get in first? First I'm getting in. Ready? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's all yours. Easy day today, huh? And getting underway. Oh, we didn't put the panels up. Who cares? What a beautiful day for sale. Okay. This 
this is a nice point of sale right here. That's so weird. Oh shit. What's wrong? Do you want to go back and get it? Because you're probably going to see some magical thing today. Just do a, like a 180 degree tack, turn to starboard through the eye of the wind, and back to Paragon. And then just before you hit Paragon, turn straight into the eye of the wind, which is the same direction that Paragon is pointing in. So, you know, just come up alongside. At the last second, you'll turn up into the eye of the wind. No, no, the other way, we're gonna tack. Yeah, right? yeah, going that way. Right. I'm laughing a little, so I'm trying to gain oh, speed. Okay, oh, okay. Ready about. Ready. Hard to leave. Yep. Oh, you're really gonna wanna let that sail out. Oh. And turn towards Paragon. You want to sort of point for the aft half of the boat. Ramming speed. Don't hit her, just come up alongside. Last second, turn to port and. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Grab her! Got her! Nice! Oh. Alright, what do you need? I need my camera. Oh, why don't you go get it? You, you, you want me to get it or do you want to get it? Good. I feel like you deserve a cookie. <laughs> Do you want one? Is that the reward system we have going? Whatever it takes, dig it. Okay. Hold on to the boat here. Holding on. Because she's going to take off on a starboard tack and you're going to go sail away if you don't hold on. I'm holding on. It's like a horror movie. Look how quickly this fog is coming in. Yeah. Gotta get it short before it melts us. Hola. Here's your bag. And also, here's, here's your cookie. Oh, well, God. That's it. What do you do? Follow the worm. What do you do? Yeah, and let the sail go out so it doesn't catch wind, yeah? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna push off on starboard tack. Ready? Oh, was, what was that? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright, starboard tack, there you go. So you can sail this boat anywhere you want to go, you know. You don't just have to go to the dinghy dock. You can sail all the way over there and explore the... In the fog? But it's not foggy yet. Watch out! Because the fog comes in mere moments, and if you're not prepared or where you need to be, you die. Hold <laughs> <told> me that. <laughs> I really adore that boat. I think she's beautiful. You know, some people every day, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, they always use an outboard and they go through a lot of gas you know, in a week, in a month, in a year. And they don't get this miraculous joy of sailing. I think you're starting to get my drift. Fog is really rolling in. 
It's thick. Have you ever wo woken up on a sailboat at anchor and come out on deck and not been able to even see the bow yeah. from the cockpit because it's so foggy? I've been in fog in my car driving over a mountain pass. What was that like? I just wanted to cry. Really? Were you, were you... I just wanted it to be over. It was scary, horrible and terrifying. And yeah. I was going, I actually had my window open. Yeah. So I was looking at the side um, and there were markers like every 15 or 20 feet, these long poles so that in the winter, uh, or at least in the beginning, they know where to plow. Mm -hmm. These long like 20, 30 foot poles that stand up. And I've been in whiteouts in the snow. Yeah. That was interesting. That was driving home from work. Again, over a smaller mountain pass, but they had the ridges on the side of the road. Yeah. And so I just stuck my tire on the ridge and I followed that. I couldn't see where I was going, but I just followed the ridge and that's how I got there. Ready about? Yep, ready. Hard to leave. Yeah, the boat with all Oops. the... Uh, bring in the sail. Head up. Hey, do you want me to pass them? Uh, yeah, I thought you could just buzz by that boat with all the varnish on the hull. Like, maybe even get up close to it. See, in a little boat like this where it reacts so... You know, instantly to the wind and to your direction. You really feel where the wind's coming from. You feel how it affects a boat. You can sense the direction. Whereas on Paragon, you know, that's why we need those instruments to always tell us where the wind's coming from. So we can steer and set the sails accordingly. This is why it's so important to learn how to sail on a small boat. Or try tagging, see how we can do now. If you stay close all. Ready. And just try to stay as close all as you can, see where it puts it. It'll take a minute for us to get back up to speed. Wow, right up close. Look at that guy. Her name is Heritage. like she's really made for speed. Very nice. Extremely nice. That was that was awesome. Look at you go. I love going for a sail in the dinghy with you, Mo. <laughs> I already feel comfortable rowing. Yeah. I feel very comfortable. Even in, in like heavy stuff, even against wind and current, sometimes it's hard for me, but you know, I feel that I can do it. Yep. Um, so this feels comfortable too. I mean, I guess if it was an emergency and I didn't really care if I was like hurting stuff, I'd probably be able to get the dinghy off on my own. I kind of need help. It's it's really awkward, like pushing it and everything. But if I was like, oh my god, Drake's head is just been cut off. I remember that story that we heard about the couple in the cruising boat where the guy like hurt himself badly somehow. His hand. He cut his hand real bad and yeah, needed like to severely. go to the severely, severely, like gonna die severely or lose his hand severely something really bad severely lose your hand <laughs> as opposed to just kind of and they losing your hand and they were at anchor and even though one hand was completely cut up and he was unable to use it 
he still had to get the outboard into the dinghy and had to start it up one-handed and then motor the dinghy to the dock with one hand and in pain because his wife didn't know how to use the outboard. I wonder um, if these are stories that guys tell. You think? Because it could be. Like, I, I wasn't there. I wonder there. if that's just like a... You think that's a made-up story just to illustrate, you know? Put it right, Jack. Okay. You ready? Uh, ready if you know that the tiller goes in the center when you're done. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yep. So I'm, I wonder about stories like that. Yeah. If that's just like urban legend that guys tell to like, see like, see how women don't know how to sail. Or if that's actually true. Because yeah, I've could, never met anyone. It could be a fable. It could be a fable. <laughs> is that a little fairy? That is a life raft coming from a cruise ship. Okay. Yep. Is that how they carry people in? Looks like it. The cruise ship is far too big to dock anywhere in here, so they use their engines to stay stationary. Yep. Maybe they drop anchor. Where's that wind? I'm never gonna get an airport. This is too much fun. I am extremely happy. I love sailing in the dinghy. The Mo is turning into a crack dinghy racing sailor <laughs> right before my very eyes. It actually blows my mind that we're having a wonderful day sailing and it's our dinghy. action shot. Ooh, and you're not gonna drive, you're gonna just... Wow. Careful, because you might be on a verge of a drive. It might happen, like, out of nowhere, unexpectedly. Wow, feel the power! You feel it? I feel it. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna come in. We're gonna take the sail down, okay? We have to get to where we Got some really gorgeous boats in here. So I'm gonna go right up to the restaurant almost, yeah, yeah. and then I'm gonna turn into the wind. Okay, I am ready. To lower the sail. Beautiful. Nice. All right. Got it. Get soaked here. Here's the centerboard. Okay, I'm gonna lift up the boom and I'm gonna pop it out. Yep. Ready? All right. There you go. Oh, so much. Congratulations, Mel. That was a fantastic sail. I think the best one yet. Thank you. Bowen's ferry landing. You know, maybe we should splurge and check out this fancy restaurant here. With the seating overlooking the harbor. See what they're looking at every time we come in. Wow, this is what happens to the docks at a low tide. End up just sitting on the bottom. Almost there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Did you smell that fried fish? Yeah, it smells oh delicious. God, it smells great. Okay. Okay. Maybe put the life vest under the seat. 
keep them out of the sun. Great sale. Thank you. It was a great sale. Maybe next time I will go out on my own. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. And pretty soon, you'll get to this point where you're so comfortable and so confident and so capable that you'll meet people, make friends and say, yeah, I want me to take you out for a sale. You'll wait until the conditions are right and you'll just have the greatest time of your life yeah. taking your friend out sailing. It's entirely different than taking your boyfriend out sailing. I bet it is. <laughs> so what are we doing now? Let's go to Siemens Church Institute, have some lunch. What time is it? Some quick lunch and maybe ask what, somebody. What time is it? I don't know, is that fair? 13.39, so 1.39. Yeah. Okay, they're open for another hour. Okay. Hello. 